Well, hello everyone. Nice to hear from you all, and thank you for tuning in to this next episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing City Folk for the Nintendo Wii. Um, last episode, we didn't have a very good day in the city. We got some pretty strange chews, and Katrina gave us a pretty bad fortune. So yeah, it wasn't the best day in the city. I decided that we should talk with the villagers because we haven't done so in a while. But, there's something I want to tell you. Um, after I was done recording my last episode, um, I believe while I was editing, I was talking to Vladimir, and I actually convinced him to stop moving. So, if I really did it correctly, he is still here. So yeah, that worked out. Alright, so, like I said on today's episode, I'm gonna go and talk to all the villagers and see if they have anything to say to me. Uh, but before that, let's check our mail. Alright, we got something from Yuka. To Joseph, the medicine you gave me seems to have worked on my cold. So, thank you for our, from the bottom of my heart. Thanks, Yuka. Hey, glad to help. Alright, let's take that. Alright, let's see what she gave us. She gave us a... Exotic rug. How nice. I'll definitely hold on to that. And also, I never had time this week to shake the trees. So, I'll just have to shake them now. <laughs> but you know what? Before everything... Like always, we'll go to Tom Nook's, and we'll check the money rock on our way with walking. So let's see, is this gonna be it? Nope. Um, why don't we go in Tom Nook's since we're by his shop right now. And see if he has any axes for sale. Hello, Tom Nook. Yes, you do. You do have an axe for sale. I will gladly take that. Alright, let's see. So, we got a computer. I think we bought this already, though. We got a pink couch. We got a pear dresser. And we got a robo table. I'm gonna buy the dresser. Alright. Oops, I didn't mean to talk to you, Tom. Though. I wanna buy this. The pear dresser. Yes, I will gladly take that. Alright, and now let's go looking for the villagers. And also, today's episode right now is pretty much in the middle of the evening time. So it does look very nice if you ask me. Uh, but anyways, let's go find some of the villagers. Um, why don't we go visit Melba since she's right here. And I saw Rasko walking around here earlier, so he can't be far. Alright, hello Melba. Oh, champ, welcome to my humble household. Make yourself at home. What kind of music do you normally listen to, champ? Roasty. Let's see. Pop, rock, hip-hop, metal, or music? Me- well... <clears throat> I mean... I'm not- I don't really have a favorite music- Music? What? You mean you don't listen to anything at all? Really, Roasty? Whoa, that's weird. I mean, you're not that you're weird or anything. It's just, I thought everyone listened to something. I love music personally. I like how music can make you feel happy. Even when you're sad, a happy song can lift your spirits and turn your day around, Roasty. Music can do so much for you. I hope you find a sound that really speaks to you. It's so worth it. Like I said, I don't have a favorite music genre, but I will music listen to music occasionally. But yes, I do agree. Music is very soothing. Let's see, what else does she have to say? The other day, Vladimir let me borrow a CD of some karaoke, and I really liked it. I think it's important to explore new sounds. You don't want to be boring. You know what I mean. Yep, I do. Well, it was nice visiting you, Melba. Alright, let's see, who else can we visit today? 
Um, oh, hey, Yuka. Ah, oh, and you're with Vladimir, too. <laughs> he was hiding behind the tree. Ah, champ, what should I do? I don't have my house key. I must have dropped it somewhere. Tis tis. I looked around a lot, but I've completely lost hope that I'll ever find it. If you see anything that looks like a key, could you please bring it to me? Okay, so remember what happened last time with, I believe, Roscoe? So, the same thing's happening with Yuka. She can't find her key. And it is in the lake, if I remember correctly. Wait. Well, my fishing rod was already in my pocket, huh? Well, I guess while I'm here, I'll put my axe away. Alright. Let's see. Um. Let's go fishing in the lake. And we could help Yuka. But along the way, we'll find the money rock. Nope. It'd be nice if I could find it, because then I could get that out of the way. Alright, let's start walking down the river. Um, let's see. Anything? Nope. But here's a weed, I'll pull that. Ugh. Come on. <laughs> Oh my, where are all the fish right now? Oh, there's one. Ah, but it swam the other way. Here you go, fish. At least I hope it's not a fish. I hope it's a key. Nope, it's a pond smelt. Gotta be here, it has to be. Alright, let's see if it's here. No, this is weird. This is really weird. But we've gotta be gaining on it. No, nothing. Hmm. This is very strange. Ah, it's gotta be here. I, if I believe correctly, it's always in the lake. Hello, Snake. I would talk to you, but I kind of want to get this task over with. Because... Would you like it if somebody was outside, one of your neighbors outside in the cold all night? That'd be, it'd be hard for me to think about it. So I've got to get this task done. Alright, no, it's just a pond smell. Oh, but thank you, Snake, for cheering. <laughs> oh, here looks like another fish. It looks like another pond smelt. I need something other than a pond smelt. Maybe I'll be lucky and this won't be a pond smelt. Okay. Oh no, don't go into the big body of water. Ah, or you could turn around, that works too. Uh, this fish is moving all around. Oh my gosh, why a pond smell? I need something other than a pond smell. I mean anything, anything. All I've gotten are pond smells. Alright, don't swim over there. Okay, good, you saw it. I hope it, it's an it saw it. Oh my gosh, another one! 
Come on, it's gotta be here. Okay, maybe I could go and in and out to refresh. Maybe. I'm gonna go one more time around the lake. And if I can't find it, I'll just cut to when I find him. Or when I find it. Well, we'll take one more trip around town. All around the lake. See if it's there. Oh, I thought I saw something there. Whenever I'm fishing over here, I really hope that there's not a fish on the other side. Let me check. Nope, doesn't look like it. Ugh, looks too big, but I'll catch it anyways. Looks like a black bass. Let's see, is this it? Come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Come on. Ah, it's a red snapper. Or it's a koi, never mind. Alright, let's see. Is this it? Come on. It's gotta be here. It's gotta be here. It's gotta be here. It's gotta be here. Oh, this looks like a good one. It's small. It's smaller than a pond smelt. I think this is it. I think this is it. No, don't swim away. You don't know how hard I'm trying right now. Ah, oh, fine. Oh no, it swam over there. Here we go. Come on. Come on. This has to be it. Gotta get it, I gotta get it. Please. No, are you kidding me? The bitterling. I can't believe this. This is such a disappointment. Let's see. Where else? Ugh. Made it to the end of the lake. Well, I'm gonna try one more time, but I'm gonna do it off camera. So I'll see you then. Well, guys, I sadly couldn't find it. I tried again, I went in and out, and it didn't work. So, I guess off camera I'll have to try. Oh, wait, maybe this is it. I'm not giving up on hope. I can do this. Come on, please. 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 No! Ah. Man, this isn't easy. Oh, well. Well, I'm actually going to go and sell my fish, so I will be right back. Alright, now that that's taken care of, why don't we go continue talking to the villagers? But I somehow have to find Yuka's key. I have to do it. I can't be a rude person and not try to not do that. So while, rec while editing the footage, I'm going to try and find it. Oh, here it is. Here's the good old money rock. Oh my, there we go. Let's pick up all this money. Alright, and let me say one thing. There's one villager that I feel like I've hardly talked- Actually, two villagers I feel like I've hardly talked to. I feel like I've hardly talked to Poncho and Blue Bear. And speak of the devil, they're both at home. Not literally, speak of the devil, but you know what I mean. But why don't we visit Blue Bear first? Oh, wow! Hi, champ. 
I haven't seen you in like forever, Blue You. You look totally good. Yay, you. See how long I haven't talked to these villagers. <laughs> Wait a sec. Are you like all tall now, champ? Or did you just go out and buy one of those crazy shoes with shilts and heels or whatever? No, Blue Bear. My shoe problem. Not at all. Well, anyways, why don't we go and visit Poncho? Alright, here, I believe this is Poncho's house. Yeah, see, I already almost forgot where he lived. I'm such a bad person. Alright, here we are. Hello, Poncho. Hey, old dog. Welcome. Chill out. Take a load off. Nay. That carpet dealer Sahara is in town. And whoa, crazy eyelashes on that one. Don't do you think those bad boys grow that long because she lives in the desert? Hold up. That can't be natural. Lashes like that have got to be artificially enhanced. Nay. Huh. Well, Poncho's got something to cover now. You better tell me about Sah the Sahara report tomorrow. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright, who else can we visit? Um, we could... Oh yeah, Victoria's home. Let's go visit her. Probably not gonna have enough time to visit all the villagers, but... We'll try our hardest. Hello, Victoria. Champ, you're just in time. Champ, guess what? I've totally decided to become a mermaid. Yay, mermaids are awesome. Well, that came out of nowhere. Anyway, I think I need a football fish so I can, like, learn the mysteries of the deep. And then I will be queen of the sea. Take that, dolphins. <laughs> Anywho, can you go catch a football fish for me and stuff? I mean, if you aren't all busy. Um, I'll try to do that off camera. Because I want to go and talk to uh, um, the other two villagers to, um, that are remaining. Alright, um, let's keep going. We'll see if Benedict is home. I hope he is. Nah, he's not. Oh well, let's keep going. Oh, here's another weed. See how many weeds grow in town? And I, last time I played was Sunday. Oh my. There are weeds everywhere. Well, at least Dora's home. Let's go talk to her. Alright, hello, Dora. Well, well, champ. Fancy running into you. How long has it been? A few weeks, I think? Yeah, about two or so. Oh my, I haven't talked in that long. I'm so sorry. Now I feel like a bad person. I thought maybe you'd catch a nasty cold or something. So, I guess I'm just glad to see that you're alive and kicking, Squeaky. Ah, uh, Bella, always being worried. Or Dora being... Thinking of the other mouse, Dora, or... or Oh my gosh, I'm getting all these mice names confuse it, confused. Well, you know, why don't we end off the episode with Dora. Yeah, that's right, I remembered her name. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing City Bowl for Nintendo Wii. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, comment, share, and subscription. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.